hi guys my name is eva bong and welcome back to my youtube channel so one of the questions i get the most in most of like my social media handles is can i grow my hair long what can i do to grow my hair long and today i'll be sharing three things that you can do that if you do consistently you and i can grow that healthy long hair that we're craving another question that comes with the first question is uh, which product are you using? Can you recommend product for me? The thing is why products are very important to the maintenance of our hair We need of course we need like a shampoo to cleanse our scalp and a deep conditioner to like strengthen our hair products are not everything when it comes to growing like healthy hair so we we'll have to understand that products are important, but that's not all our hair grows regardless, even if you apply product and even if like you don't apply product, you know, in as much as everybody's hair grows at different rates, it doesn't mean that our hair does not grow. So the question should be like, how can I actually retain length? So in this video, I'll be sharing three things that if you do consistently, if you and I practice these three things, you'll be able to see visible growth and you also be able to retain length. So number one thing that we can actually do is that we can encourage growth, right? And one way to encourage growth is by cleansing our scalp regularly. I know this is not what probably, you know, most of you are expecting, but cleansing our scalp is one step in our hair care routine that we underrate. I know a lot of people and I have been in the past, you know, big victim of keeping my hair for three months, four months in that long term protective style without washing. In fact, we shouldn't even talk about like the smell that comes out of it. But I am here to remind you that your hair actually needs like a clean scalp to be able to grow. So our, our scalp is mostly the foundation for any growth. So if your scalp has been congested with product, you have product build up, there's no way that scalp is breathing. So you want to make sure that you're regularly cleaning your scalp, I mean using your shampoo, cleansing your scalp, and that way you are, you know, whatever products or whatever thing you apply to your scalp works effectively than you know keeping your hairstyles for three months for four months five months without washing your scalp that's one way that you can actually encourage growth another way you can encourage growth is by scalp massages and scalp massages is something that you can do you could put that in your routine and you could do that on a weekly basis or you could do it um, on a bi-weekly basis so all you need to do is to use the palm of your fingers you do not want to use like the nails your nails rather so you want to use the palm of your finger to massage your scalp you can do this with products or without products so you massage your scalp you don't have to do this every day so you could set a routine and you do that on a weekly basis or in a bi-weekly basis what happens when you massage your scalp is that blood flows to that area of your body so you know even when you're massaging your hand sometimes you discover that it becomes red or you know you're rubbing a particular area of your skin it becomes red the same thing happens to our scalp so when you massage your scalp you're allowing blood to flow to that area of your scalp transferring nutrients to that area that way promoting growth so that's another way that you can actually like encourage growth another thing that you can do to encourage growth would be to eating a balanced diet i mean our hair grows from the inside out so if say for example you are incorporating all those vitamins and minerals into your um, meals and into your diet vitamins like vitamin a vitamin c uh, we have our zinc and we have our ions and most importantly you have your protein which is one of the major building blocks of hair because our hair 
is made up of keratin which is a protein so you want to make sure that you're feeding your body right because your hair grows from the inside out so you're giving your body enough um, nutrient those necessary vital nutrient it needs to be able to flourish from the inside out remember that some people may not be born with sparse hair sometimes because of stress because of poor diet, dietary um, choices we discover that our hair starts thinning off and in fact one major reason why some people experience early alopecia is because um, blood or nutrients has been staff in that particular area of your scalp so you want to make sure that you're feeding yourself from the inside out well you're you know you're taking those minerals and vitamins that way you're also like encouraging growth you're promoting like healthy hair to grow from your scalp i remember specifically when i used to take smoothies i still take green smoothies but like i discovered that i could see like a lot of hairs really growing because I, I was not able to measure like the rate at which my hair grows but I noticed that my hair was growing my my edges were a lot fuller my hair was a lot thicker and even like the strength of the hair was also like able to withstand you know little manipulations here and there so you want to make sure that you are um, feeding your body right that way you also like promoting growth now the number two thing that you can do to be able to grow long hair is by preventing breakage right there's no way your hair is growing and like it's breaking at the same time and you'll be able to retain length even if say for example you grow four inches of hair let's even assume that your hair grows that fast that you grow four inches of hair in a month and you lose five inches of hair that same month there's no way you see visible growth because it's like um, you're growing by the same time you're losing hair so one major thing you need to stop doing to prevent breakage is to stop combing your hair dry I have been a victim of this in the past before I started learning how to you know care for my hair how to nurture my hair and how to take care of my hair in general I used to comb my hair dry and that was in fact that was like a recipe for disaster because my hair broke a lot and my hair became very thin so you want to make sure that you're not combing your hair dry make sure you have like a sort of moisturizer in fact especially after taking down a protective style do not be in a hurry guys i repeat myself do not be in a hurry to comb your hair instead first of all you want to hydrate your hair this is what i do I hydrate my hair split in some water or maybe like a hairspray I always hydrate my hair and then I go in with um, with a co-wash conditioner or I go in with my moisturizer before combing my hair that way my hair is a lot like um, elastic it's is it's it also like allows for easy manipulation and then when I'm combing my hair I do not use the small rats to you know the small mounted combs I use the white tooth combs and this you know because our hair is so cold in such a way whereby if you're not careful with it uh, it breaks off our hair appears hard but it's actually the most delicate hair type so you want to make sure that you know you have a sort of moisturizer you've sprayed your hair with water and then you know you're moisturizing or you have like your moisturizer and then you're sealing before combing your hair please do not dry comb your hair because that's only going to rip off the length you've already retained next thing like I already talked about it is moisturizing your hair so where most times we use comb is when we are detangling our hair before washing after washing and during when we're styling our hair so in these three steps you want to make sure that you are using some sort of moisturizer what I do when I'm taking down a protective star as I said I always split some water and I go in with my co-wash conditioner to give me that sleep and then I comb with um, 
a white tooth comb when i'm styling my hair to be honest i always go in with my moisturizer and i seal with the butter and that way it allows me to easy like easily detangle my hair before combing and again i think a tip especially if you've been suffering from excessive shedding and hair fall you may want to consider like just lightly detangling with your fingers before going in with a white tooth comb this has tremendously helped me um, navigate those knots that seems very difficult to you know to come out especially when you're using a white tooth comb and this would really help you retain length and grow that long length of hair that you actually do desire the next thing you want to do to prevent breakage is you want to use anything satin so from your satin hair bonnet to your satin scarf to a satin pillowcases those are great for your hair your hair would enjoy them why because it has like uh, a slippery uh, surface area that way you know whatever product or whatever um, whatever product you apply to your hair remains intact and with this like it also serves as a protective barrier between you know your pillowcases and your bedspread and your satin hair bonnet or even hair scarf because your hair stays intact all through the night most times because of constant friction some of us are not like stable sleepers so because of constant friction turning here and there breakage actually occurs while we're sleeping so you want to make sure that you, know, you have like a certain scarf and a certain hair bonnet this will also like help you retain moisture for a longer period of time and that will be also like retaining length i think this is one thing that has helped me in my hair journey especially if you suffer from dry hair as i said in the past do not comb your hair dry but if you suffer from dry hair make sure that you always like going to bed with your certain pillowcases or head scarf and that way you'll be able to retain the length so the next thing i would suggest you do to prevent breakage is applying a deep conditioner guys do not skip deep conditioning uh, especially with the protein deep conditioners so they contain protein that actually helps strengthen our hair some of our hair and especially the ends of our hair has been prone to wear and tear and they've stayed the longest period of time throughout our hair journey so you want to make sure that you're providing them with that strength to remain there you're so like giving them um the nutrients they need to be able to withstand all forms of manipulation guys for me most times what i do is there's no single wash day that I don't deep condition my hair. There's no single wash day, guys. So it can either be with a moisture deep conditioner or a protein deep conditioner. I pre I always like prefer the the latter. I prefer the deep, you know, protein conditioner because that way it fortifies the strength of my hair and it allows my hair to be able to withstand all forms of hair fall. Of course, even while I deep condition most times what i do is i leave the deep conditioner for 30 minutes minimum sometimes one hour maximum i leave it and i cover it with my shower cap or even steamy cap if you don't have that feel free to use your nylon bag and that would work just fine and this would help your your hair you know strengthen your hair and it also like would prevent like most forms of breakage especially during your wash day so you want to make sure that your deep conditioning that way you're preventing breakage and you remember that if you're able to prevent once you're able to master the craft of like preventing breakage that way you know you're able to retain length because if your hair is not breaking that means you're actually retaining length so you want to make sure that your deep conditioning my number three tip would be length retention right remember that our hair grows regardless regardless of what you do your hair grows if you're not seeing length it's because your hair is actually breaking so uh my number three tip would be on length retention so there are so many factors that actually hinders us from retaining length it could be physical factors 
it could be health factors and for that reason i will be saying like invest in protective styles so styles that you can rock for three weeks to one month right and of course in between you're making sure you're cleansing your scalp you're moisturizing and you're doing all those good stuff because like protective style allows our hair to stay off our hands we as i can talk for myself i like to play a lot with my hair but once my hair is in this type of style you know it's being protected and like i in fact i really do have the urge to manipulate my hair when it's in this form when it's in braids or when it's in twists but you see whenever our hair is down like you know you just leave it in a half row or a high puff you easily want to manipulate your hair in such state so you want to make sure that you're investing in a protective style you could be twist find what works for your hair type really so it could be twist it could be braids i would highly recommend that you keep your protective if it's a long-term protective style at least keep them for four weeks to six weeks before taking them and this gives your hair enough time to rest than constantly manipulating your hair remember that constant manipulation will definitely lead to breakage and in fact i think it's important that i say this that there's no single way that you are maybe manipulating your hair that breakage will not occur no matter how careful so you want to reduce the amount of manipulation that goes on in your hair which is why protective styles are great for length retention it will allow you retain length you know you your hands are off your hair but of course you it's not like um because your hair is in a protective style you're neglecting the style no you're also like cleansing when it's needed you you're listening to your scalp especially when it's giving you signals when your hair your scalp starts to eat you the scalp is already giving you signals that it needs to be washed when your hair is dried and slightly brittle your hair is already giving you signs that it needs to be moisturized and most times to be guys to be honest guys you do not need to wait till your hair is very dried and brittle before moisturizing have a moisturizing um, schedule or a routine that you follow to re-moisturize your hair for example myself so after washing my hair let's say i wash my hair on friday so saturday sunday monday by tuesday maximum i should have moisturized my hair so most times i re-moisturize my hair twice in a week and that way my moisture level stays intact and for my scalp because sometimes my scalp gets very dry so what i do is like split in maybe a hydrator it could be water it could be like a normal hydrator or like any hairspray so i split that on my scalp and then i follow in with my hair growth oil you could do the same you could just split in water and then apply a hair oil to your scalp and that way your scalp and your hair stays happy till the next wash day another thing i would say um you need to stop doing if you're going to retain length is keeping your hairstyles for three months four months five months and even like half a year guys i think that's just too much ladies we need to know that um when your hair is in such a very long term protective style what happens is 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 that it begins to mat at the root of your hair it begins to tangle so much because it's been in that protective style for a very long time so you what you want to do is is either you are going on a low manipulation style that would last two weeks one week or you are doing like a long-term protective style that would last four weeks to six weeks maximum please do not go three months four months without taking down your protective style that's only like a recipe for disaster because by the time you're taking down your hair your hair will be so tangled um say for example if you're the type that uses attachment your hair will be so tangled in that attachment that no matter how gentle you you are trying to unravel the hair just it, it just like breaks off right and you do not want that because that will be defeating the aim of the protective style so please guys try and keep your protective styles not for so long and also like why your hair is in that protective style make sure you're moisturizing you're taking care of it and if it's a low manipulation style make sure that the ends of your hair are 
you know tucked away because that's the only way um, would say that that style is actually protecting your hair if you're not able to retain the ends of your hair um, that's the ends the, the length of your hair there's almost no way you'll be, you be able to see length because length retention happens at the ends of your hair so you want to make sure that you're protecting the ends of your hair and like you're also like giving them that tender loving care um, moisturizing them oiling them sealing them and like also like making sure that they are tucked in there's no constant friction with your clothes make sure that you are tucked in and that way you'll be able to seal them so these are some of the tips that i use that i've practically used and that has helped me retain length like i said before there's no one magical product that would overnight grow your hair so these are some of the things that you know i do in between that has helped me retain length and i know that if you put these tips into practice if you you know implement some of these tips in your hair routine you'll definitely see length you'll be able to grow that healthy hair that you dream of or that you desire so i really hope that this video was helpful Make sure you try and like implement some of the things I've discussed because they actually helped me and they can also help you if you stay consistent with them. Guys, if you actually enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, uh, comment in the section below what you've learned or even like share your hair journey. Then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.